After months of high-profile close calls, the bird strike and engine fire on that southwest flight over Cuba has put a lot of people on edge. People were screaming, not knowing what to do, and we kept trying to breathe, and it was filling up with more smoke. Thankfully, the plane landed safely back in Havana. If you lose an engine, if you lose a computer system, you've got multiple fail safes, right? Absolutely. I mean, you've got typically two to three different systems to back each other up. For each system? For each system. Mark Weiss is a former American Airlines captain. The airplanes are certified to fly on one engine. On one engine? On one engine. So that's not the issue. The emergency landing in Cuba followed two cases of severe in-flight turbulence. Seven injured last Thursday, a Lufthansa flight forced to divert to Washington, D.C. While on Friday, 55-year-old Dana Hyde killed in a private jet that hit severe turbulence, too. And multiple close calls on the nation's runways this year, including Burbank, California. You up the runway yet? We're going around. Austin, Texas. FedEx is on the go. New York's JFK. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff plans. And Honolulu. And that United Jumbo Jet that went into a steep nosedive off Hawaii in December, coming within 800 feet of slamming into the ocean. Now the FAA chief, himself a veteran pilot, is convening a nationwide safety summit next week. Pilots, controllers, airlines, unions, and regulators. I want to hear from the participants about what they are seeing in their own operations. And more important, I want specific ideas about how to enhance our already robust safety net with concrete actions. The pressing question, are these a string of coincidences or is there an ongoing safety issue that needs to be addressed now? NTSB Chief Jennifer Hammondy. We really need to focus on, you know, what's going on in the aviation system. Let's take a pause. Let's do a safety stand down. And let's figure out what are we missing here. All right, we mentioned that sixth runway incursion or close call. This one happened in Sarasota back in February, just learning about it. Two commercial flights, one of them cleared to take off, another one cleared to land on that same runway. The NTSB believes this could have been an, an ATC, air traffic control error. Savannah? All right, Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.